give it up for this new upcoming comedian we're working with. He's awesome, Zach Sprung. What's going on, everybody? What a great crowd. Appreciate you. So a little bit about myself. Uh, my father's Jewish, and I'm adopted. <laughs> right? That's not even the best part of it. <laughs> so recently I got one of those DNA tests, and I uh, found out I'm German. Yeah. So things have been a little awkward around the house, you know? <laughs> it's actually uh, really affected our relationship. Uh, he won't go on train rides with me anymore. <laughs> been planning a father-son forum tattoo for years, that is right out the window, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding, my dad really loves me, you know, until he hears that joke. He's gonna hate that shit, trust me. <laughs> Speaking of jokes people probably are gonna hate, uh, how about a little kid-friendly Michael Jackson joke for everybody, yeah? yeah. No? No, uh, it seems like more of an OJ crowd, for sure. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna do that one either. It'll kill it, none you guys are gonna admit it, you know? <laughs> It's a tough crowd here, I gotta say, really tough. Uh, third attempt here to see if I can finally make you guys laugh. Uh, go with the Helen Keller joke, all right? <clears throat> That's a really nice touch, you guys. I didn't even think about that. The, uh, the silent salute. She's, she thinks that's sweet. Thank you, guys. That's very nice. <laughs> Clearly, nobody speaks sign language because that punchline kills, you know? <laughs> Do I get some late night TV watchers out there? Anybody? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Me too, me too. So you guys probably know there's pretty much two types of commercials, right? You got a depression commercial, and you've got like one of the phone sex commercials, right? But it's the same voice for both, so you don't know whether it's time to like jack it or call your therapist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, hello there, are you lonely? Do you hate not having somebody to sleep next to at night? Do you get sad when you have to get up for work in the morning? You're like, damn it, it's a depression commercial. <laughs> uh, that's like, you know, that Redaxa might be for you. Talk to your doctor. So true story, I'm taking some Redaxa, right? <laughs> and my doctor's going over these side effects with me. And uh, he's like, well, it's gonna cause uh, weight gain, extreme heat sensitivity, increased anxiety, and it might make everything worse overall. <laughs> I'm like, jeez, I thought we were trying to cure my depression here. So let me get this straight. I'm gonna be fat, uh, not be able to leave the house, worse anxiety, and it just could make things worse overall. She's like, yeah, do you think you can handle that? I'm like, sure, if not, I guess I'll just kill myself. <laughs> oh, so bad, so bad. Uh, so I've only been doing comedy for a little bit now, you guys, and uh, I realize every comedian has a dick joke, right? But uh, if I'm being honest, all of my heard so far suck. <laughs> Speaking of dicks, you guys think it'll be okay to celebrate Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' even the stroke of midnight this year? Or change that up. One last thing while we're on the subject of dicks, you know, you gotta take care of them, right, fellas? They got a shelf life, you know, you gotta be a good steward of your dick, you know what I'm saying? So lots of bad things can happen to them. Like, did you guys know there's a condition out there that makes you fart out of your dick? It's true. It's called a colovestical fistula. Yeah, sounds pretty bad, right? Or is it? Because I'm just saying, if you're in the middle of a bad or a toothy blowjob, Sorry, baby, it's part of my condition. I peeved. I didn't mean to, you know? It's uh, harder when you have kids, you know, keep it in, right? So, <laughs> thank you guys so much. That's my time. Appreciate you.